Well, here's a interesting lesson learned for the day. Um, never trust battery health indicators. See, that one looks nice and green, which means uh, all is fine and dandy in the world, apparently, but uh, that battery is as dead as a doorknob. It's uh, barely even moving the... Um, <laughs> voltmeter. So uh, there you have it. I'm a little bit pissed off because I only replaced this battery 16th of the 12th 08 so it's not even three years old yet almost fortnight off. So uh, let's see if I can uh, get this thing jump started because of course it's uh, Completely on the other side of the farm, a hundred miles away from the frigging shed. So, uh, <laughs> I'm hoping this thing's got enough grunt to uh, jump start and keep it going so I can get it back. It's the worst thing about modern diesels, they need the uh, injector rail uh, solenoid pulled in. See how it goes anyway. We have life. Question is, is that all the problem was? Yep, I have one very rooted battery and a lying battery health meter. Yay, a new battery. Well, they say bad luck comes in threes. Uh, this was number two. Uh, <laughs> had a puncture on the rear tyre of the uh, Rotato yesterday afternoon. Luckily it's just been fixed so I can carry on mowing. At least I can sit in air conditioning with the music on now, but uh, yeah, there you go people. Nice green battery health indicator and a completely dead battery. So. Uh, goes to show you can't always trust them.